So what is my thoughts about the Emotion V11 against the Emotion V12 when I own the two? Which one is my favorite? If you want to know everything about it, stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Medpack and if you love EUCs, PVs and everything that have an E of electricity, this is the place for you. And today we are going to talk about these two amazing wheels, the Emotion V11, that I simply, simply love it. And I have already done more than 3000 kilometers with this one. And the Emotion V12 that I had the prototype, I helped them to develop this one. And now this is the final version. So which one is my favorite wheel or in which situation I prefer one to the other. So when we put side by side, they are not comparable. They are completely different wheels. And that is something that I don't see so much happening in other brands. I feel that Emotion have really decided where they want to be and where is their position on the market. And um, if you think about it, what is happening this year, the prices are going up and up and up and uh, Emotion continue at least until today, more or less on the same range of price. So I believe if you are concerned about small wheels disappearing from the market, I believe that Emotion will be always the brand that is going to continue to support those type of customers. They are not just focusing in the United States and I believe that majority of the brands, because the United States have the bigger impact on this market, they start to forget other markets like the French market and others that are limited to 25 kilometers per hour, so smaller wheels are not so much a problem. Here I definitely have two of my favorite wheels. There are things that are preferring here than in there and there are things that are preferring there than in here. So you are more than welcome to stay until the end of the video. Let's start about the front light. So the front light on the V11 is much better than the front light on the V12. I really think that they should continue to do this front light in all their wheels or even trying to make improvements on those lights. When we talk about the positioning of the turn on and turn off, I prefer on the V11. It's much, much harder for you to press in there than on the V12. Here is much, much easier to just press it by mistake. So definitely something that I would like to have seen different. When we talk about the handle, the handle feels more sturdy on the V12 than on the V11. But overall, I prefer the one from the V11. And why? Because this allows me to have my handle anyway, but have my seat. So definitely something that I simply, simply love it. Even if I don't ride seating, I like to sit when I'm just stopped waiting that red light, it turns green. So definitely a pro about the V11. On the V12 you can sit, but it's not as comfortable than having a seat. Another thing that I really like in both of them is that you can ride very, very high from the floor. But for that, you need to change the configurations of the suspension in here. And obviously, when we talk about comfort, it's not comparable because this one is going to be more comfortable than the V12 because you have suspension on the V11 that you don't have on the V12. When we talk about power, forget it. When you go to the V11, or in this case with the V12, it's really, really powerful. So when you are in there, you really feel it that you have plenty of space, of speed underneath your feet. When you are in here, it's different, okay? Is this for me is like my Cadillac sensation, okay? It's very comfortable. That's why I also changed the tire for an off-road tire. I'm not searching for very high speeds. When you are here, you feel it. You, when you press and you accelerate, it just goes. And that is the beauty about the V12. And also the V12 gives you a bit the sensation of a small wheel like the V8F. And I'll bring the V8F. So here you have the V8F and this wheel, it's a 14 inch. This one is a 16 and this one is an 18 inch wheel. The sensation that I love about this one when you go off-road with a V8F, that is very bouncy wheel. So if you get some holes or something and you, you feel it that is going to jump and after it's like imagine that he's going 45 degrees and he just grabbed the floor and he goes. That sensation you have it with the Emotion V12. That is another thing that I love about Emotion is the waterproofing. And when you go here, you have better waterproofing than any other wheels. But all these wheels, they've been riding in the UK, riding and basically 
raining all the time. Other things that I really like about the V12 that are better than on the V11 is the screen. I really like the position of the screen. I'm not so concerned to break it because you have this bump on the front. Here you don't have it so you are not able to see uh, how fast you are going. You can't see how much battery you have. You can see the bars, but it's not the same as having a percentage. And here give you an estimate uh, range that you can take out of the wheel. Normally I divide that by two and it gives you a more realistic distance that you can do with your uh, V12. Another thing that I definitely prefer on the V12 than on the V11 is also having the possibility to have some sound. The sound waves is simply amazing. It's not working on my version is working not in the right way so I'm waiting for a next update to be able to solve that issue and it should come with different sounds in the next update at least is what they told me but definitely also if you are searching for something that is much more stable the v11 is the best if you are a new rider I think that the v12 is better for you because you can also change the heights of your pedals so you are closer to the floor when you are just starting and after you can just bring them up and getting a wheel that is much more stable and that is something that you can do on the v11 so you are always high and obviously you can change slightly changing the configuration of the pressure on your suspension but it's not the same as changing the heights of your pedals another thing that if you are concerned about durability the v12 is better than the v11 this is not a wheel to hit on the floor that's why i believe that the v12 is a better wheel for someone that is just starting or someone that just wants a wheel that is powerful and can have a lot of lot of fun another thing is obviously this one has speakers so you can put some music and definitely is the best speaker speakers that you have on the market here you don't have that option something that I really miss on the V11 when we talk about weight this is slightly heavier than the V11 so the V11 if I'm not wrong is 27 kilos that is 29 kilos but it's not a big big difference between the two but just to point it out another thing that is much much better on the v12 than on the v11 is the stand the stand on this one you can hit it doesn't go anywhere but if you hit this, it just fall off. So this is not the best stand, but this is also one of the few wheels that comes with a stand out of the box. So definitely a plus that you have if you choose an Emotion wheel, at least these two new wheels from Emotion. Another thing that is not being the best uh, in the electric unicycle world is having hollow motor. It's better because obviously it's harder to break the axle of your wheels, but it's been giving us a lot of issues when we talk about bearings. Here you don't have that, so no concern about the bearings on the V12. Other stuff that I simply, simply love it on the Emotion V12 is the possibility to configure all your wheel and definitely that is a massive plus that you have on the V12. Like I said on my previous video where I just talk about this wheel and the prototype if you want to check that video out feel free it was more customizable when we was on the prototype version it continued to be much more customizable than on the v11 so definitely a plus but overall which one is my favorite wheel and it really depends on your needs if you want something that is more robust better when we talk about waterproofing it's faster have a screen it's very very nimble if you want if you put on the lower settings on your pedals is very 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 nimble definitely go and obviously if you want speakers definitely go to the v12 if you want a wheel that feels more like having a motorbike like having a chop not going very very fast but overall have everything have a seat obviously you need to purchase this separately but have a seat better front light you have already a good speed not the best in the market but definitely good enough at least for my riding style i will definitely go to the v11 and obviously if you want that extra comfort of suspension go here but in the end of the day is your own decision which one is the best for you they are a very very good solutions and by the way if you want to purchase one of these wheels or others feel free to use the discount codes that you'll find on the description below in that way you are also helping the channel to continue to bring more content like this so feel free to use those discounts and if you have any other questions about these wheels or others or other videos that you would like me to cover feel free also to ask on the comments below my name is Marco this is Matt Peck if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel comment below smash the thumbs up do whatever you want but always with a smile on your face and I hope to see you in the next one